गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस द स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर दैर इज इंटर कॉन्वर्शन ऑफ मैटर वाट इज मैटर द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मैटर एंड द डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर लाइक सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज देयर डिफरेंस इन दिस सेशन वी विल कवर द रेस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड वी विल लर्न सम डिफिनेशंस Uh, effect of temperature, effect of pressure, like melting point, boiling point, and what are the factors? Uh, evaporation. What is the difference between boiling and evaporation? And uh, that's all. Uh, this chapter will complete. So let's recall first uh, the interconversion of uh, states of matter, like from solid to liquid, uh, and liquid to gas, or gas to liquid, and solid directly into gas. Uh, we will learn from this uh, this from flow chart. Uh, solid to gas. Uh, we know, will uh, states from solid to gas. It's known as sublimation. the reverse process that is, that is gas to solid is called deposition uh, solid to liquid is called fusion or you can say melting and liquid to solid it's solidification liquid to gas it's vaporization and gas to liquid it's condensation so uh, this was uh, taught in the previous session now uh, the first definition is melting point what is melting point the temperature at which a solid melts melting point means the temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid this is the main uh, temperature is known as its melting point what is melting point it is a temperature at which the solid melts to become a liquid at the atmospheric pressure it's called this melting point different different liquids have different different melting point clear next one is boiling point so like melting point the definition of boiling point is the temperature at which the liquid starts boiling the temperature at which the liquid starts boiling clear is known its boiling point and boiling point is a bulk phenomenon why bulk phenomenon because the boiling occurs through the entire liquid the boiling happens or the boiling occurs through the entire liquid clear that's why it is known as a bulk phenomenon so what is boiling point the boiling point is a temperature at which the liquid just starts boiling at the atmospheric pressure it's uh, it's called as boiling point and it is a bulk phenomenon this is a bulk phenomenon next uh, evaporation what is evaporation the phenomenon of changing a liquid to its vapor state at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation so uh, kindly note this word at any temperature below its boiling point evaporation at any temperature below its boiling point conversion of liquid into its vapor conversion of liquid into its vapor the temperature should be below its boiling point and it can occurs in any temperature this is called evaporation so it is a it is a phenomenon of changing a liquid state to vapor state it is a phenomenon of changing a liquid state into vapor state but the temperature should be below its boiling point so this is called evaporation and it is called surface phenomenon this is called surface phenomenon boiling was known as bulk phenomenon and evaporation is known as surface phenomenon why surface phenomenon because evaporation takes place from the surface of the liquid evaporation takes place from the surface of the liquid whereas boiling takes place from the entire liquid so boiling point is a bulk phenomenon whereas evaporation is a surface phenomenon clear now uh, the factors affecting evaporation what are the factors affecting evaporation there are total all total five factors all total five factors that affects evaporation number one is surface area evaporation number one is surface area number two is temperature number three humidity number four wind speed so uh, the factors are number one surface area number two temperature number 3 humidity and number 4 wind speed so these four factors are responsible for evaporation so uh, number 1 factor is surface area number 2 factor is temperature number 3 factor is humidity number 4 factor is wind speed so uh, number first point increase in surface area increases evaporation so if surface area increases it will increase the rate of evaporation if surface area is increases it will increase the rate of evaporation number 2 increase in temperature increases the rate of evaporation if temperature is increased then rate of evaporation will increase and if the temperature decreases the rate of evaporation will also decrease next decrease in humidity increases the rate of evaporation what is humidity humidity means amount of water present in the atmosphere what is humidity amount of water present in the atmosphere that is actually known as humidity so if humidity decreases if humidity decreases rate of evaporation will increase and consequently if humidity increases then rate of evaporation will decrease 
clear number four increase in wind speed increases the rate of evaporation if wind speed increases the rate of evaporation will also increase and number five evaporation causes a cooling effect evaporation causes a cooling effect why because evaporation we know that evaporation is a phenomenon of changing a liquid state into vapor state that is uh, it is a phenomenon of changing a liquid state into vapor state it converts liquid into vapor that's why it produces cooling and also evaporation takes place from the surface surface of the liquid evaporation takes place from the surface of the liquid that's why it is known as a surface phenomenon and hence evaporation always produces a cooling effect clear now uh, next topic latent heat of fusion what is latent of, of fusion before knowing the latent heat of fusion we should know what is actually the latent heat is what is latent heat latent heat is the heat required to convert a solid into liquid latent heat is a heat required to convert a solid into liquid or liquid into vapor without changing temperature listen carefully latent heat is the heat required to convert solid into liquid or liquid into vapor without changing in temperature the temperature should not change clear the temperature should not change the temperature will remain constant but the amount of heat will convert a solid into liquid or liquid into vapor without changing its temperature that heat will be known as latent heat clear for example uh, the different liquids or different solids have different amount of latent heat clear uh, now what is latent heat of fusion now uh, latent, there are there are two topic one is latent heat of fusion and another is latent heat of solidification so first topic is our latent heat of fusion so there are two topic one is latent heat of fusion and another one is latent heat of vaporization so what is latent heat of fusion latent heat of fusion is latent heat of fusion is the heat required the amount of heat required to change a solid into liquid at its melting point the amount of heat required to change 1 kg of solid to change 1 kg of solid into liquid and at its melting point the temperature should be at its melting point that's called is latent heat of fusion listen carefully the amount of heat required or the amount of heat energy required to convert 1 kg of solid into liquid form at its melting point is called its latent heat of fusion whereas latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy required to change 1 kg of a liquid to vapor 1 kg of a liquid to vapor at the atmospheric pressure at its boiling point is called the latent heat of vaporization of the liquid amount of heat energy required to change 1 kg of a liquid to vapor at atmospheric pressure and the temperature should be at its boiling point is called the latent heat of vaporization so what is the difference between latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization the latent heat, latent heat of fusion involves conversion of solid into liquid and latent heat of vaporization involves conversion of liquid into vapor number two difference latent heat of fusion occurs at its melting point and latent heat of vaporization occurs at its boiling point so these are the two differences between latent heat of vaporization and latent heat of fusion vaporization means conversion of liquid to vapor and fusion means conversion of solid into liquid because uh, here we have already studied that conversion of liquid to solid we will call it fusion so the, uh, from solid to liquid it's known as fusion and from liquid to vapor from liquid to vapor gas or it is also known as vapor gas or known as vapor so liquid to gas or liquid to vapor is called latent heat of vaporization so uh, this two topic next topic is effect of temperature and effect of pressure what is the effect of temperature and what is the effect of pressure on this vaporization so number one effect of temperature if temperature is increased if temperature is increased that means temperature increases means the increasing the heat particles increasing the heat particles gain energy and start vibrating with greater energy if in temperature is increased that means increasing the heat particles and that will leads to gain energy of the particles and the, if particles gains energy then they will start vibrating they will start vibrating with some greater amount of energy due to this increased kinetic energy kinetic energy the particles overcome the force of attraction and the new state is obtained now what is force of attraction uh, every uh, state of matter that means between solid and liquid or between liquid and gas or between solid and gas there between solid and gas there there is a definite force of attraction that means in solid molecules the force of attraction is the highest 
in liquid molecules the force of attraction is somewhat least than solid and in case of gas the force of attraction is minimum so if the force of attraction if the force of attraction between the states we should overcome if you overcome the force of attraction between the states then the particles will vibrate more with greater energy about their mean position and then a new state is obtained so this is only possible when we uh, uh, when we increases the temperature when we increases the temperature the particles vibrate with more energy that means they will tend to overcome the force of attraction between the molecules and in that case from new state is obtained in that case a new state is obtained so that is the effect of temperature number 2 effect of pressure what is the effect of pressure on applying pressure the particles of matter can be brought close together and the state of matter can be changed a state of matter can be changed because if we apply pressure the particles the particles of matter can be brought together that means the molecules the molecules of the matter or the molecules of the particle can be brought close together and in that case if we apply pressure a new state can be achieved so this is the two topic that is effect of temperature and effect of pressure both this factor can change the state that means a new state can be achieved by applying pressure and by applying temperature example one example is given the applying uh, effect of pressure for example carbon dioxide gas can be solidified by applying pressure and lowering temperature that means co2 gas can be solidified co2 is itself a gas so that means it can convert into solid co2 gas can be convert into solid that means it can be convert into solid by applying pressure and lowering temperature so if we lower uh, if we lowers the temperature and increases the pressure co2 gas can be convert into solid clear so uh, these are the some uh, important topics from matter in our surrounding one important topic is left one important topic is left that is what is the difference between evaporation and boiling what is the difference between evaporation and boiling uh the number 1 evaporation evaporation and number 2 boil what is the difference between evaporation and boiling so number 1 difference uh if you look at the definition the evaporation is uh, occurs at any temperature evaporation can occur at any temperature or particularly say at all temperature evaporation can occur at at any temperature or at all temperature so this is the first uh, point evaporation can happen at any temperature at any temperature whereas boiling boiling should occur at a fixed temperature or a particular temperature boiling can happen at particular temperature or fixed temperature boiling occurs at a particular temperature number 2 number 2 boiling is a bulk phenomenon and evaporation is a surface phenomenon why boiling is a bulk phenomenon because boiling happens through the entire liquid boiling happens through the entire liquid clear so uh, an evaporation it happens from the surface of the liquid it occurs on the surface of the liquid so number uh, second uh, criteria it occurs from the surface of the liquid and boiling it occurs through the entire liquid it occurs through the entire liquid number 2 number 3 boiling is evaporation is a surface phenomenon evaporation is a surface phenomenon whereas boiling is a bulk phenomenon number 4 what na number 4 difference is evaporation produces cooling evaporation produces cooling whereas boiling has no such effect evaporation produces cooling whereas boiling has no such effect so this is the fourth difference so fourth difference is evaporation produces cooling 
whereas boiling has no such effect next fifth difference fifth difference is evaporation is a slow process as the evaporation takes place from the surface of the liquid evaporation takes place from the surface of the liquid clear so evaporation takes and boiling takes place from the entire liquid clear so evap evaporation uh, takes place from the surface of the liquid and boiling takes place from the entire liquid so you have a number fifth difference is evaporation is a slow process it is a slow process evaporation it is a slow process whereas boiling it is a rapid it uh, it is a rapid process or it is a fast process so these are the differences between evaporation and boiling so number one evaporation can happen at any temperature particularly at all temperature evaporation can happen and boiling particularly occurs at a uh, boiling occurs at a particular temperature or fixed temperature number two evaporation it occurs from the surface of the liquid and boiling it occurs through the entire liquid number three evaporation is a surface phenomenon as it occurs from the surface of the liquid and boiling is a bulk phenomenon number four evaporation produces cooling number four if boiling has no such effect and the last difference is evaporation it is a slow process whereas boiling it is a rapid process clear so uh, these are the topics that left um, and we covered this in session two this chapter is complete this chapter is complete we will solve some questions from the exercise from the uh, this chapter in the next session thank you